You know when you see something and it's not quite as you expect? Well, I tried to film a starting tree the other night, and I'm not sure what it was. Let's roll the intro. It's grown on me that intro. I think I, I like it. Uh, g hello from myself and Des. Des has hair uh, from uh, here in the United Kingdom, where I give you an honest input of what Starlink is really like as a beta tester and a regular guy, dad, husband, man using this technology. So I leave all the geeky stuff for the other people who know much more than I do, and just give you honest feedback on how it's going. So immediately speed tests are rolling there. So before I jump into the really serious stuff, I was going to film this in 8K, but there was comments to say that people couldn't even stream in, in, in 420p and stuff. So I'm gonna avoid 8K for the minute, might bring you some 8K sheep. How am I gonna film in 8K, you might be asking. Well, I got this monster. And of course, what do you do when you get a beast like this? Will you immediately go out and take pictures of your dog. Then take a picture of a dandelion. And then a picture of your dog who's just at that dandelion. Now back onto that point, I tried to film a Starlink train the other night and it, it very quickly popped up in our group. I tend to get up early morning for sunrise. I enjoy sunrise. I enjoy the experience of getting up and having some headspace first thing in the morning, but uh, the guys messaged on the Discord group to say that a Starlink train was going over a few nights ago. So I jumped out of bed with 10 minutes to prep, ran out into the garden and started to film. So I haven't seen some of this stuff online before of people posting pictures of the Starlink train. I imagined it was going to be, well, just that, exactly a train running through the, the sky, a line of satellite dishes going past. And what I saw was very different. So this is possibly the worst footage of Starlink that I could possibly get. Uh, I was, my camera was out of focus, I literally jumped out of bed. Yeah, it was quarter to 11 at night, and I know a lot of people go to bed a lot later. I like to go to bed early. Uh, and this footage is not great. However, it's interesting because when you watch it, these things seem to appear, then disappear, appear, then disappear. There was quite a big moon to the right-hand side of this, and I wonder if that had an impact. And I, I'm even questioning, was this actually the Starlink train? And I, I, I have a feeling that my my viewers or the people that watch this will probably know much more than I do. So if you think this is a Starlink train, please do let me know. If you think it's something completely different, also let me know. So it's been incredibly quiet over the last week with updates. There's been no firmware update. There has been some outages, so stability has been questionable the last few days. There has been a bit more downtime than normal yesterday. However, today seems to be relatively stable. I've noticed that the download is not increasing massively. Some days it will jump up to maybe 380, 390. But it's not increasing a lot. Upload, again, it's it's still hit and miss, so it will sometimes ride really high. I think I had it to 65 at one point, and then other days it can sit around 11, but it does seem to change depending on what time of the day you do it. So it's, it must be about the satellites or the connectivity, and I noticed that the server jumps around. Actually, in the speed tests, if you can stick the speed tests out long enough, you'll see that when I choose select automatically, the server automatically, that it moves around the country pretty much. Sometimes it'll be up north, sometimes it'll be down south, and yeah, it's it's weird. So I, I don't quite know how it works. But on, a, on another note, we have got another grind station. So we've got three confirmed grind stations. And the good news for me is that this is only 40 miles from where I live. So I wonder, will that, whenever we get this global rollout or the laser stuff starts working, will ping just crash? I have noticed that ping is dropping and there was, uh, on average, I think I'm sitting about 27 now. So that's that's pretty good in my opinion, and it is coming down. The other thing to note is that whenever there is a Starlink launch, there is outages, and they tend to follow very shortly after the launches. I have no idea what happens, but it would be good to know if Starlink would be kind enough to update us on why that is, so we could maybe prep and use our backup ISPs for it. On that note, I do still have my backup ISP. I'm currently 
three, three or four months into Starlink usage and I haven't made that choice to ditch my provider and I'm going to stick with them for a bit longer. So if you have got questions or you do want to be part of the community, please feel free to join our Discord server and the link for that is in the description below. I love the fact that people are only watching this purely because of my camera quality and actually the cameras do tend to get a lot of questions and maybe I will give you a not one of these kind of camera view, reviewers I'm, I'm not that happy to talk about this stuff and how I use it but uh, I might even share some tips on filming or content creation if you are interested in that this is currently being filmed on a a7s3 and of course I do have that amazing a1 that I've had my hands on for a few days now and it's been totally glorious breath of fresh air also there has been a couple of router updates firmwares on those so if you do have your deses or whatever to hand or nearby you will notice that they have been updated the last few days uh, but the, the dish, as I say, has not been updated. We're still on the older firmware. I want to say older, it's only a couple of weeks. We're used to having firmware every couple of days. And I, I feel like we're being neglected. However, I, I get a sense that the big one is coming when we will soon top 500 megabits per second. I'm excited about that. So there you have it. That is the update real world tester type experience of Starlink from here in the United Kingdom. And I get it varies across the world. Some people get faster, some people get slower. Actually, I wonder, is the UK the fastest? Maybe. I don't know. If you get it, if you get it fast anywhere else in the world, let me know what you're getting. And we can have a speed off so you can break the records. Although we have no control over it. All we do is click go. So whatever you're doing for the rest of the day and the weekend, have a good one and I will catch you later.